Anthony Geffen, I love the twist you have put on virtual reality and any twist that involves David Attenborough, <laughs> you gotta love it. Well, one of the things about the virtual reality when I first started is David is a bit like a collaborative kid and so he got incredibly excited about this new medium and what he realized is this was a chance to speak to all the people who don't watch his programs because a yep. lot of children don't watch television anymore but they have a smartphone. Virtual, uh, virtual reality allows us to literally take it to millions and millions of people around the planet who don't necessarily ever watch his programs. That's pretty cool for a start. And then yep. there are all the people who do who want to go and watch it because it's different and it's interactive. Yeah, uh, where do you see virtual reality fitting in the industry? More as devices at home or as cinematic experiences or something like exhibitions that you have recently done? As these headsets spread out and different, lots of different headsets come out, then we can take, through apps, we can take our journeys to a much broader group of people. But there'll always be experiences I want to do in cinema spaces because there you can give them pipes. This is unpiped, this is just video basically, okay. but in the future we're going to have devices that allow us to move in and around the, those worlds. That will happen, I think, in cinemas because people don't have the, the, the money to set up what will be a very, very high-end kit to yeah. do that. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Um, here at MIP, yeah. when people are talking about virtual reality, what should, be, uh, what should they be talking about? Um, well, the trouble is virtual reality is still good virtual reality, I'm just you know, saying that, is very hard and expensive to produce, very complicated and needs very uh, unusual group of people to make it happen. So I think at the moment people are talking about the potential of it. Of course there's some bits and pieces yeah. of VR here that are really good, but actually we're talking about the, the first 2% of 100% which we're going to go on this journey with VR. So, and most of the manufacturers are... You know, they go for what I call circus VR, which is high impact, couple of minutes, bang you in the face, which is not the way I see virtual reality going in the future. It can be fun, but that's the sort of commercial, commercials side of it. I think the storytelling side, we had 20 minutes in the Attenborough film on the yeah. Great Barrier Reef. I see it going way out there as much longer. Those big experiences, there are very few. And in fact, if we don't get some of those good experiences by MIPCOM, this is a medium that will start to be questioned because that's, oh, wow. the, that's the demand for new technology. Do you see any potential actually for virtual reality to be, uh, to be used in formatted television? Oh, totally. Um, because um, the virtual reality can put you in an unusual positions. Once we can tap those positions and the ways and the characters, we can start to use it in formatted television. So, you know, once it becomes streamable, you know, because what you don't want, you want streamable and without getting highly technical, stitchable, which means you can stitch sure. the images together. When you can do and feed stuff almost live, then I think you can use it in the format. What you can't do is spend months and months and months just assembling a series of shots. Yeah. Does that make sense? But the potential's enormous, and I mean, I, I'm already planning some episodic stuff where you will see an episode of something and you'll be dying for the next episode the next day, but you'll only get it through your mobile phone and through, through a download. That's exciting. Can't wait. Yeah, so. and that's what... You know, that's why you know, Netflix took off with some of the House of Cards and stuff. It was a sure. must-watch, and we yeah. need to create amazing must-watch experience. <laughs> Anthony Gavin, thank you very much for joining lovely. me on Pulse of MIP. Well, lovely to see you. I look forward to here. the wonderful things that you will be creating. Okay, look forward to it. Thanks, thank Ali. Thank you. Okay. Hang on, what are you seeing, Ali? An amazing oh my shot. God. That's from space. I am in a cam. Look behind you, look I behind you, there's some cam. cameras. Hey, brilliant. <laughs> That's fantastic! <laughs>